Hey everyone, my name is Courtney and I've got Becky here with me. We are gonna do a painting craft today. So what we're doing is we're using a canvas panel and you can use any size that you want. This one that we're using today is a 14 by 18 and it's just the cheap master's touch you can pick up at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think you can get smaller ones at Walmart um, if you shop there. So um, we're gonna use the canvas boards and we are using acrylic paint. So we've got multiple colors here. Um, we've also got painter's tape that we're gonna be using and just some basic sponges. So this one I picked up at Hobby Lobby, they were circles and I just cut them up into little pieces. So you'll need those. Um, and then we're gonna use some paper plates to set our sponges on because they're gonna be wet and painty. So, um, and then we've got some paper towels here. So what we're gonna do first, um, the one I had already done, um, I used painter's tape just to put, I put tape around it to make borders and I did different colors, but we're gonna do a Christmas one today. So, We've got part of it started already. We're gonna make some Christmas trees. So you can see I've got part of mine done here and I'm going to finish them now. So I'm just making basic triangles, overlapping the tape um, to make nice crisp lines. So we're gonna go ahead and finish our triangles here. Becky's already done, I think. Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish mine. And I'm just doing any size of triangle doesn't have to be perfect. Just ripping it as I go. Your Christmas trees might look a little better than mine. <laughs> and I'll just rip it. I've got one more here. Oh, that one's gonna be close. And if you've got a little bit of a gap, just stick another piece of tape in there. There we go. So here is my finished triangles. And again, you can do any pattern you want. We're going to try trees, though. So what we're going to do next is instead of putting paint on the plate and like dabbing it on, we're just going to put the paint in big globs directly onto the triangles because I don't know if you can see on this one, but it's bumpy, it's textured. So it's not all been smoothed out. It kind of looks like waves on the ocean. So that's what we're gonna do again for this one. So we're gonna use some greens and I think I'm gonna make mine white at the tops to where it looks like snow on the top of them. So I'm just gonna take the white and put a big glob of white at the top of each tree. What do you think, Becky? Yeah. You gonna do that? Yeah. And then I think I'm going to start with a lighter green at the top and go down to a darker green. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend them all together afterwards. So it's okay if it's a little bit messy. So I'm going to put some light green right below the white. And then I'll go in with some darker green. Let's see. Ooh, that one looks cool. And I think I'm gonna use that one. Thank you. A little bit more of this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you wanna put some more in yours? Nope, we'll go with this first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're going to grab your sponge. And I'm going to start at the top because you want to start with the lighter color because we're going to then just keep moving down and blending down. So let's kind of move some of these. I've got all different colors up here. So we're going to start at the top. And we're just going to start dabbing. And you're just going to work it down. And then I'm going to get into my next green. And it's going to start blending with the white and I'm just going to keep working it down, get to the darker green. And then the very darkest green. There we go. And then I, I brought a lot of different sponges here because 
Um, you don't want to use them the same side. So I'm going to either flip to a different side when I start the next tree, just so I don't get all of this color into the white. Good, Becky. So you can either flip your sponge or grab a new one now, and we're going to move on to the next tree. I should probably add a little bit more. Yeah, you want to put a bunch of paint on there. If you think you've got too much paint on your board, that's probably exactly enough. Because again, it's supposed to kind of have a, have a textured look to it. I'm going to go on to the next one. Flip to the other side of the sponge. I think I need one more. Oh, Becky, that's looking good. I think I should have used a little bit more paint just to make it more textured, but make it work. Yeah, and the thicker paints are better. So um, these Master Touch acrylics are nice and thick. Um, so I really like those. But we've also used some of these. I think this is Anita's. It's a little bit thinner, but it does still work. So I think, how's yours looking? Do you think you're good on yours? Yeah. So then um, you'll just want to let it dry for a little bit and then you can just start peeling off the tape. So I think we'll go ahead and try to peel ours off. Clean my fingers off a little bit. And then just peel it off gently. So you should have some nice clean lines. My tape is not cooperating. <laughs> oh, these are looking cool. Oh, I smudged mine a little bit. That's okay. I think I had some paint on my finger there. Yours looks really good. Almost done. should have added a few more trees <laughs> so you could always go back through and add some stars or something to the top of them if you wanted to um but it's a very minimalist sort of painting i think so those are our christmas trees again you can do any pattern you want with these thanks for joining us today we'll be back with some more painting crafts